1994, the Philippines. Arab fighters flock towards a country in the throes of Islamist guerrilla warfare. Amongst them are Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and his nephew, Ramzi Youssef. The two partners in crime have many projects. Posing as businessmen, they meet in bars in Manila, mostly karaoke bars, to ensure their conversations cannot be recorded. An exotic setting, both men develop relationships with local Manila girls who are happy to go out with rich businessmen. They will use them to carry out their plans, asking them to buy components needed to manufacture their next bombs. At first, they plan on assassinating Bill Clinton, but they finally choose to target the Pope, scheduled to come to Manila in January of 1995. In Manila, one of his collaborators, a guy called Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, um, who also happens to be his uncle, um, was well known in Manila for wandering around some of the flashy hotels there in a white tuxedo. Through late 1994, Youssef recruits from Manila's Golden Mosque at Kepo, quickly assembling over 20 new followers to implement his most audacious plan of all. He began the Bajinka plot. Bojinka plot, which translated into the big blast. The Bojinka plot it was a plan to put uh, bombs on 12 different U.S. airliners. The idea was to have the bombs detonate simultaneously so it would take out 12 747s at the same time. It was here to perfect a bomb that would become uh, an invention of the decade, of, or if not the century, which is a liquid bomb okay, that cannot be detected by a metal detector in the airport and he tested this bomb in several locations. It was odorless. It could be hidden in a contact lens solution bottle. He used a, uh, a Casio data bank watch that had been modified. It had an improvised blasting cap on it and a connector for a nine volt battery. He could just take his wristwatch off and drop it in the little tray and, and have it taken around the metal detector. And once he got on the plane, he could assemble the device and then set the timer. He spent a long time preparing this and uh, developing it for use to, uh, to bring down U.S. airliners. Jojo Capacetti heads the Manila Bomb Squad. Uh, they tested all these kinds of chemical explosives here in Manila, and one of these explosives were uh, tested here at the Greenbelt Theater. Okay. Uh, it was, he, he ordered Khalid Sheikh Mohammed to, to put the uh, liquid bomb below, below the, the seat of that, that movie house. So it exploded at around 10.30 in the evening. Only one person is wounded in the theater, but the test is conclusive. The next step, the installation of an explosive device on a commercial airliner. 